Space is the three-dimensional extent in which objects and events occur with a relative position to other objects and events. In a more general sense, space can refer to an n-dimensional hypervolume. Space is often illustrated by three lines representing the three spatial dimensions. They are the axis of a three-dimensional graph. In 3D space, you can have objects all over. As shown here, you can move in three directions, forwards and backwards, up and down, and side to side. Physics shows us that so-called empty space is not really empty. General relativity depicts space and time as a fabric that can be warped, bent, twisted, stretched, and contracted. Quantum mechanics describes subatomic particles coming and going even in a vacuum. Simply put, space is not empty, it is not nothing. Yes, I know this is a double negative. However, empty space is normally thought of as nothing, but it is something. The basic SI unit for measuring space is the meter. A meter is the distance traveled by light in a vacuum in 1 299 millionth 792,458ths of a second. And a kilometer is a thousand meters. Next we have the astronomical unit. It is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. One astronomical unit equals 149,598,000 kilometers. The next unit of measure is the light year. This is the distance that light travels in one year. Note, this is a unit of distance, not time. One light year equals 9,460,528,400,000 kilometers. One light year is also equal to 63,240 astronomical units. The next unit of measure for space is the parsec. This is the distance with a parallax of one arc second. One parsec equals 30 trillion 857 billion kilometers or 2006 260 astronomical units and it is 3.26156 light years. The most common ways of measuring space are rulers such as a tape measure and for more accuracy a veneer caliber. Odometers are another common way of measuring distance and thereby space. Other methods include bouncing light, radio waves, or sound off of an object and using the return time to measure distance. These include radar and sonar. Another way of measuring space is parallax, which uses geometry to measure distances. It is used in astronomy and land survey. Now both distance and position must be measured according to some standard. This standard is a chosen point in space. The point is selected by either convenience or convention, but without such a starting point, determining distance and position is impossible. Space is one of the three main parts of the universe. They are space, time, and mass. Relativity shows that they are interrelated. Space and time form a single entity called space-time. Mass warps space-time forming gravity, and the motion of mass contracts both space and time. In conclusion, based on common experience, space is basically where you are. That is, you are at a particular point in space relative to other objects. However, physics has shown space to be a lot more. It is a fundamental part of the universe.